Okay, here we are in the loft area. We do have some fogged windows, so that's going to need replacing um, right here. Got some old retro type furniture. I thought this was kind of neat up here in this loft area. <laughs> it's like a kitty door. <laughs> you have to be very small to be able to come into here, but it's a small little closet area, and I'm sorry. You go into the bathroom, and you've got like this 50s vibe going. These are the, uh, let me go ahead and show you this shower. So this other little door is like the attic. It's like we're in the top floor and like I can see exposed. I guess it's just storage. Um, and uh, this is the uh, type of material like um, woven, I don't know what you'd even call that, like a straw type material. Anyway, here's a spiral staircase, and I'll do my best to show you the best view possible. Um, immediately upon entry, I could kind of smell like, um, not moldy smell, but like a little bit of a musty smell. I'm going down the stairs, but I'm going to go backwards so that I can keep the view. Stairs are in good shape. Now the floor is really a, like a weird material. So it's wooden, if you can tell, but it's painted and then it has the pattern. Um, this feels really like they try to take a modern spin on the old features. I think the highlight, honestly, is just being on the golf. So I'll just kind of like pan up. Has those little shades up there. I imagine in the summer it gets really bright. There's the refrigerator. I'm curious if this has, I'm just going to move this candle. I want to know if these are fogged up. Okay, so yeah, we just need new windows. And we're going to have to find out if that's HOA responsibility, um, if that's on the books to be replaced, what kind of budget if you're into this. Um, I notice it does have a stucco exterior. It looked to be in really good shape, but... I did notice that the, um, let me just peek in here. Yeah, it's pretty clean. I'm gonna go outside because I know everybody's just dying for the uh, outside view. Okay, so this, before I do that, is like a, like a pleather material, like a boat vinyl, like a marine vinyl material. Okay, so these are obviously original doors. I doubt that they're rated hurricane impact so that's going to be something that may need to be replaced in the future but the view is fantastic and these greens are fantastic the green space very beautiful and that would be how you get down to the beach i'm sure you saw that in the pictures so this material here this like brick face that is what um, the hallways look like. Here is the uh, kind of the exterior here. You can see that these doors eventually will need to be replaced and that's um, pretty penny. But again, I think windows and doors will probably end up being the responsibility of the, um, the owner. So you've got these little rounded hallway here. Pretty decently wide hallway. I think you guys could do a lot with this place. It's definitely dated. Okay, that's how you get up the attic area. Pretty low bed. 
Um, I don't see you guys really being into too much of the type of modern retro stuff, so you're going to probably want to come in here and honestly refurnish. Um, let's take a peek. The closets are really deep, so if you did take an extended period of time here, you'd be fine. Let's take a little look-see here. Okay, a little linen closet. Pretty loaded down. That is the front door. We've got a bath here. We've got wallpaper. Subway tile. Pretty basic. Some updated fixtures. And then right at entry, I imagine this would be master. So um, I'm going to go ahead and take a stab that those windows too probably will need to be replaced. All in all, good looking unit. Master features the ensuite. I'm sure you could tell by the pictures. Same kind of vibe here. Subway tile, wallpaper in every bathroom. <laughs> this one's not so bad. So, and again, that sort of woven uh, material. I'm gonna go ahead and pop outside and just give you an idea of what the outside um, area looks like. So this is exterior. We are on the third floor, there's no elevator, so if you know, you, you wanted to rent to somebody elderly, they would have to deal with no elevators. So this is kind of like the material we're looking at. It seems to be pretty well updated. Um, that gold car is my car down there, the Hyundai. So that is the 302 spot. There's a little bike rack there, dumpster. And this is basically the extent of the parking lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what the stairway looks like. And then I'll run out to the grounds and if you can Bear with me, I have to turn my phone a different way. Um, so, this is the stairway. It's all like um, this untreated, it looks like untreated wood. It's, it, it's not soft or anything, so it's in good shape. Okay. So, I made it down to the second floor hall. And then kind of the same thing. Um, going down one more story here and it's kind of extended the parking lot again right off of 30a but south of 30a wonderful golf front um i don't know if you go this way to the let's go i don't know how you get to the golf but we'll go this way i believe it's on the opposing side hi <laughs> like people just store beach stuff here and here's the walkway there's a little path leading out to uh, 30a where you can cross and it's pretty well manicured coming up through here I'm gonna do my best to try to stay out of the way it looks like some folks are coming up from the beach but here are the grounds pretty lovely this is the lower lower units so the unit we were at is that upper corner unit there so just standing here I can kind of see just over these hedges um, the golf and I'll just kind of come up some looks like there's a wash down over there and up the it says owners and guests only but it looks like it's boarded off um, needs to be replaced, but there you go. There's the golf view. And I'll um, jump down to the golf here. Here's my partner. <laughs> so there's a little trash can. And then we have the ex exit to the golf. So this place is called Capistrano. <laughs> and then here's the surrounding homes. Beachfront, obviously, with everything being private, that would be the beauty of this place here. 
is that you have this entire beach front expanse for yourself. So go down these stairs and then here's the, the bluff and then the building there um, in the back. So hopefully you enjoyed this and I'll leave you with the beautiful views. It's a great day. We'll talk to you soon.